Uh, hi everyone, myself Sai Kumar. Uh, now I am going to introduce about .NET, why we need to go for .NET, what are the other programming languages and what are the advantages of going for .NET programming language. Okay, so I will start about .NET concepts, who introduced it, uh, like what are the advantages of going for .NET programming language. So there is no any particular abbreviation like uh, for .NET, but some people call it as network enabled technologies. So when you talk about when you talk about .NET, we have some concepts, main concepts. So we need to know what are they. So when you talk about uh, like before .NET, also we have some programming languages like C, C++, Java. Then we uh, we say it as .NET. .NET is like collection of programming languages. So it supports more than 60 plus programming languages. So why we are not going when you have some other programming languages like C? or C++ or Java. So I'll tell you. So under C, C++, uh, we have some drawbacks like uh, platform dependency, then security and reusability concepts. Each language has come overcome. Then they came with what .NET. So now what exactly .NET means? As I said, it's a collection of programming languages. So under .NET, we have some major concepts like what you know, C Sharp is considered as a programming language. So we have other programming languages like we have Java, I mean, J Sharp also, you have Microsoft programming languages and non-Microsoft programming languages. So if you see C Sharp is considered as a programming language. So it has taken from C concepts. So uh, we, apart from that, we have Visual Basics. Then we have uh, uh, F Sharp. So we have different programming languages. So apart from that, we have ASP.NET, which is a technology, a web technology, we call it as. So what are the different technologies which we are going to use is another Windows technology also we will be using it. Next to that we have ADO.NET also. So it is used as a communication tool. Next SQL Server also it is a database. So why I wrote SQL Server is like ADO.NET is a communication tool between whom you know. So it will be acting as a communication. ADO stands for ActiveX Data Objects. Whereas ASP stands for Active Server Pages. Next, uh, SQL Server is our database. So it is a communication tool, I said, no? Communication tool between whom? Between our ASP and SQL Server. So I can say a clear picture like what you know. So you will be using ADO.NET to communicate with SQL Server as it is the database where we are going to store our data and ASP.NET is our front end web technology we will be using as a front end web tool. So in order to co communicate with them we will be using ADO.NET using C Sharp as our programming language. So we will be using C Sharp as what? A programming language. Now you came to know what all this uh, C Sharp, ASP.NET, ADO.NET and SQL Server. Now we will see what are the different types of applications we can develop using .NET. So when I say .NET, we can say develop different types of applications. Using .NET, we can develop three types of applications. One is Windows applications, web application, and mobile application. End of the day, after learning some programming language, you might learn any programming language. What you are going to do is develop an application only. So we will be developing what apps? So develop an application now what type of application you are going to develop is might be windows or web or mobile so when you talk about windows we have two types once again we call it as character user interface and graphical user interface so you will be developing using console applications as well as windows forms application so when you are going to develop a windows forms application we use gui in the same way, web application mainly consists of, so I can say it as front end, is also called client side. So under front end or client side, we have hypertext markup language, cascading style sheets, and JavaScript. Whereas server side programming languages or a back end programming language, we call it as.
so we have what server side backend we have c programming language c++ we have java c sharp asp sorry uh, P, python these are all our server side programming languages and we use database to communicate with them so what are databases means we use what oracle database in order to communicate with java c sharp microsoft product as a c, completely dotnet is what microsoft product only so ms is nothing but microsoft product ms sql server as our database microsoft sql server microsoft visual studio in the same way next python mysql so these are the databases now if you see windows application or web application or mobile application or you can develop service windows uh, web service or windows service so anything when you are going to use it what is the common thing all of them is like we will be using c sharp as a server side programming language so we use what c sharp as server side programming language so in now if we enter into this programming language we have so many concepts now so we need to know what is c sharp why we need to go for c sharp what are the advantages under c sharp when you when you compare with other programming languages like c sharp when you start using it you have first data types what are the different types under data what are the different data types we have under c sharp next operators what we what are the different operators we are going to have under c sharp conditional statements so what are the different conditional statements if else and switch apart from that looping for loop while loop do while loop do while and for each in c sharp we will be using for each also for collections like arrays okay next apart from that we will be using arrays why we are going for arrays what are the different types of arrays now object oriented programming principles like specially what are encapsulation inheritance polymorphism abstraction so we will be learning each and everything in detail under like when i say classes we will be calling mainly with classes uh, oops with classes and objects now if you see once again we have as i said ma major principles we will be using what exactly encapsulation is what exactly abstraction is what exactly polymorphism types of polymorphism compile time run time so is function overloading or function overriding next to do that we have inheritance what all the parent properties like base parent is nothing but base class properties always belongs to what child class how can we implement them so these all things we can know once when we enter into what c sharp so that's all